Also, we have Ms. Amy Mirapinski is going to come forward and talk a little bit about PTSA, and then we'll start our program. concert band on stage. There's 40 members here and uh, it's been such a joy to see these kids grow and learn throughout the semester. Uh, we've had a lot of experience this year uh, compared to what we had last year. They met once a week in pretty large groups uh, and this year we've had at least two or three a week in uh, smaller sections so they've been able to learn a lot really quick compared to what they've had before and uh, to see the change over the semester has been really exciting. The first piece is a holiday tune called O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which I arranged for them earlier this year, and we hope you enjoy. So as you can hear, uh, hopefully on stage, there were multiple parts in that. A couple different groups had harmony, uh, some groups had melody, and some groups had the bass line over on the trombone section. 
Uh, some people were playing both melody and harmony on the mallets, and then our percussionists in the back were playing different rhythms uh, on different instruments that they had not gotten to play yet this year, uh, until this year. So I hope that was really fun for them. It's been really fun to put it together. Our next song is called Holiday Array. Uh, it's array because there are three parts. Uh, so it may sound like three different sections. So please hold your applause till all three sections are over. The first is a Hanukkah section, which uh, incorporates some familiar Hanukkah tunes. And then the second one is called Kwanzaa, which is a traditional uh, African-American holiday for Kwanzaa. And the third and final is Christmas, which is Jingle Bells. Uh, hopefully you can hear all three of those sections throughout and follow all three of the winter holidays throughout the sections. Thank you. parents up here that you're as proud of them now as I am from this year. Uh, it's been really exciting to hear those pieces come together. Uh, so again, it's been a huge change from where they came at the beginning of sixth grade uh, to now performing these two full pieces with lots of multiple parts. It's been really exciting to see it come together. Uh, we have a little transition for our uh, marching and jazz band who met through PFY. Uh, so Jake Fulton's going to give us some transition music on the piano. And then sixth grade goes down, jazz band can get ready to come up, and we'll be ready to go on. Thank you for waiting. All right, we are ready for our PFY Marching and Jazz Band. Uh, we got to go through a little bit of marching band and jazz band Monday, sorry, I'm used to Monday, Wednesday. We usually meet Mondays, but this year was Wednesday afternoons uh, every week for from three to five through PFY after school programs. Uh, so uh, we did a few songs, uh, the first of which was Frosty the Snowman, which everyone memorized and was able to move, uh, move their feet, keep their feet in time, and um, be able to put that outside with some other instruments. Uh, then we go into Oh Christmas Tree, which features a few soloists that I'll highlight once we get there.
you very much. Uh, our next song is Oh Christmas Tree. Uh, both of the arrangements I did this year to accommodate, there's a lot of different instruments, a lot of different uh, grade levels, a lot of different interests based on uh, what we had this year. So uh, I adapted everything to try to fit what we had and make sure everyone got as what we could out of it. And a lot of our uh, eighth graders, we all took turns trying improvised solos using different scales in jazz context. And then there were four soloists we're featuring in this song. Uh, first up is uh, Brandon Williams. Second up is, is it Holden or Gibson? Gibson second, and then Holden, and then Alice, all uh, improvising solos, so they've come up with those on their own, they might be on the spot, they might be coming up with their own ideas right now, or they might have had a vocabulary developed uh, throughout the semester. So I hope you enjoy Oh Christmas Tree and our soloists in the song. Symphonic 7th graders. 
All right, I think we're just about set. I'm going to introduce our first seventh grade piece. It's called Lost Tomb of the Incas, which a lot of you may have heard at Stinger Night. This is not a holiday song, but we have put in a lot of time uh, working on it. It's by Michael Story, and uh, it's supposed to create different moods with the music and uh, different tones with the chords. And it's been really fun to try to do these different dynamics and different effects and different instruments to create uh, kind of a long ago time period. And I hope they've had a really good time putting it together. So this is Lost Tomb of the Incas. Christmas song that you may recognize, and it's really fun because throughout the song a lot of different sections get to play the melody, so it gets passed around throughout the band, and you get to hear a familiar tune depending uh, on the instrument color and depending on the range, it kind of moves its way and then comes back. Uh, so hopefully you could hear it throughout the song, and hopefully you recognize it, and hopefully you enjoy it. This is O Come, All You Faithful, arrangement by Elliot Del Borgo.
seventh grade group. And the second of our Christmas carols is called Can Santa Can Can. And I'm going to read a little bit about this one just because I think Andrew Ballant, the arranger, uh, does a good job of describing kind of what's happening in the song. So the, the title of the question, Can Santa Can Can. And in his About the Music section, uh, the arranger writes this. Imagine this scenario. Santa's helper elves are finished with their seasonal duties and are dancing in celebration. The reindeer join in, and so does Mrs. Claus. They are having such a joyous time that they decide to invite Santa to dance with them. But the question is, can Santa can can? And we've had debates throughout the semester that Santa can or cannot. And we are pretty in agreement that Santa cannot can can. Not sure we're on what grounds. Uh, this is based on the famous melody from Orpheus in the Underworld by Offenbach, and it intertwines a lot of uh, traditional Christmas melodies. So you'll hear the Offenbach Can Can Overture, and then intermixed throughout will be different Christmas carols back and forth, uh, and it's kind of this conflict between Christmas or Offenbach, and it's kind of fun to listen to. symphonic band portion. Uh, we have another transition uh, for the eighth graders to come up on stage, so please bear with us. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, first row can stand, and eighth grade in the back can start lining up against the wall. We'll be coming up in one minute. All right, we're just about set. Uh, the last group of the evening is the eighth grade wind ensemble. So these are all the eighth graders, uh, and a few seventh graders we pulled up to fill out the instrumentation. Uh, so this is about 40 people. Uh, each grade is about 40 uh, people per ensemble. So we have about 120 kids in this band, which is really exciting numbers-wise. Uh, every time I'm trying to build up the program and get more involvement, and I tell people how many it is, I'm thinking, we need more, come on, sign up, we gotta get more people in the band. And then I tell other people at other schools how many we have, and they say, oh, wow. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I'd love to get even more on stage, but I love the instrumentation we have, and I love the work they put into all this music. It's been a real pleasure to teach these kids for three years, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and this is their final winter concert with me. Uh, Uh, the first piece, just like seventh grade, is not a holiday song. This is our Stinger Night piece, and we did perform it once already, but so many of you did not get to hear it, uh, and we wanted to play it one more time. It's called In the Valley of the Ancients, also by Michael Story. It's similar to the Michael Story piece, Lost Tomb of the Incas, that seventh grade played, but at a little bit more advanced level. 
and capturing a little bit more, uh, more complexity in the different colors it creates and the different moods you can follow through. Uh, so I hope you enjoy uh, In the Valley of the Ancients. Eighth grade first holiday selection entitled Housetop Variations. Uh, so everyone probably knows Up on the Housetop, the traditional Christmas song. Uh, but then this arrangement by Bill Calhoun takes the original melody and the theme at the beginning, and then he transforms it into different tempos and time signatures and keys, and then kind of plays with the melody. So you'll probably recognize it, but it changes it up in a way that makes it new. Uh, 
So this has been quite a challenge to put together, but it's really uh, come a long way from the beginning of the year till now, and it's really exciting to uh, see the growth from, again, seeing these guys start in sixth, seventh, eighth, and now performing this song is really incredible. So I'm really excited to premiere House Top Variations. for the evening is called Hanukkah Begins Tonight. But before we get into that, I do have a few thank yous. Uh, on my program, I do have it listed here, but I wanted to highlight it in case you missed it. Um, a huge thank you to Dr. McCoy, who's been an incredible help this year uh, as a new administrator and getting to know her. And I really appreciate her support and all that we put, go through and her support for the kids has been really incredible. Uh, she's been a really influential part of this program. And I really appreciate her and uh, all the MMS Mountain Peak Mill School administration. All of our people here are very supportive of what we do, and we would not be able to do it without their help. Julia Alley is our fine arts supervisor. Uh, Nancy Cook is our new teacher mentor. Uh, and then, although I'm not a new teacher, she is here as a lot throughout the semester to still lend a helping hand as needed. And she was also my new teacher mentor for the first couple of years. So she stays in the loop, and she stays active in what we do. Kim Loganson is the Kent Island High School Band Director, and she's always here to recruit and get to know everybody and help out as needed. Brian Zadalis at Stevensville Middle School. 
Braden Bowie from Mattapique Elementary School, uh, Monica White from Bayside Elementary School, all the MMS teachers and custodial staff especially for helping set up all these chairs uh, in the gym and doing a lot behind the scenes that often gets unnoticed. Uh, so a huge thank you to the custodial staff and a lot of our support from our teachers. Joey Todd from b, &B Music, uh, they're our instrument supplier and anytime something breaks or we need to reeds or valve oil, he's right there to bring it to us and help out and make sure we have what we need. I have a thank you to Ken Carlson and Andrew Walworth, who started the Kent Island Educational Music Fund, which is a 501c3 uh, tax-deductible donation towards the band program here. And through that organization, through the nonprofit, we've been able to fund a few new instruments, uh, a couple charter buses, and new things that support our program. So that's a huge thank you to them and the community members that have given to that fund. Uh, and of course, all the band parents for their continued support and everyone here that came to listen to us this evening. It's been a real pleasure performing and I hope uh, all 6th, 7th, 8th grade band members have really enjoyed performing. You've been a great audience uh, and I really want to share this last performance uh, piece with you and then hopefully you have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you for coming tonight.
Have a great, great holiday and have a safe way home tonight. So thank you again.